Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we're giving you the lowdown on all the things to do in the Lone Star State, including the Poteet Strawberry Festival. And since this annual tradition is right around the corner, we decided to revisit our time at this sweet event. So let's check it out. Back in 1948, a festival was developed and still runs today, making this sleepy town a metropolis every year with visitors from all over the state converging on the grounds and gaining the name the Strawberry Capital of Texas. So we packed up and headed out to see what adventures we could find. So it seems like along the way that we've been driving to Poti, we've been seeing a lot of vendors along the way, strawberries, watermelon, and we also saw helicopter rides. So that is going to be our next stop. We're gonna do some helicopter rides in Poteet, Texas. How cool is that? Thaddeus, uh, please just tell us a little bit about what you got going on here before we even enter the Poteet Strawberry Festival. We've got helicopter rides. Yeah, 90 seconds out, 90 seconds back. We'll get you up and down. Just long enough to make you wanna do it again or decide you never have to. The first festival of the year, the one that really kicks it off, I mean, it's the biggest one. There's 100,000 people that will converge on this area here. Getting to the grounds, you can't help but notice the diverse groups of people from all around and listening to their reasons for coming out was a big part of the fun. I like the food. The roller coaster. The weather's great. It's definitely been family friendly so far. Everybody's been really nice. It's just like a tradition, you know, carry it on. So that makes it like special and fun. The small town atmosphere and the family being together. It just feels homey, you know, it feels like Texas. See smoke, fire, you know what that means? Food, delicious food right here. Barbecue all day, every day. They got everything strawberry that you could possibly think of. All the food really, that's like the best the best reason to come is enjoy like the food and the atmosphere. Pretty much the food brings everyone together. Wines and jams. Did you see that? Wines and jams. But most importantly, did you see wines? Good food here. All the strawberries, my stomach is full. There's a lot of entertainment, games, rides, something for everyone here. I even got my hair did today. The family atmosphere is undeniable and the small town feel never leaves you. It's kind of like you've known everyone your whole life. You can just feel the warmth coming from their souls or maybe it's just the barbecue pits. Poteet Strawberry Farming began back in 1910 and produces 40% of all of Texas's strawberries. The festival pours in millions of dollars into the South Texas economy and it's all thanks to the dedicated farmers and their families. And you can say the effects are felt all over the community. My grandpa did it and daddy did it and now third generation is doing it, so that's, that's why we're doing it. So it's amazing. Uh, Rotary Club, Lions Club, all the church organizations make their money here and then put out scholarships. It's fantastic. Stay with us on Yellow Texas as we continue our visit at the Poteet Strawberry Festival. Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are at the Poteet Strawberry Festival, where we're enjoying one of the largest festivals in Texas. Now, obviously, one of the main attractions is the strawberries, but it wouldn't be a festival without the thrilling rides, games, and shopping. Spurs, that's right. And the Fiesta Spur, right there. That's right. Next up, it was time for carnival games and rides. And you know, I had to try the tallest ride with the best view and the biggest drop. All right, we're going on, we're going on. Holy moly. I couldn't breathe for a little bit. 
after all the fun, the rides, and the games, it's no wonder why the Poteet Strawberry Festival is celebrating its 71st year. I, oh, I believe in love. But before we left, we had to taste the food. We wanted to hear what everyone's favorite carnival food was and, of course, get our hands on some of it ourselves. I like the strawberry nachos. The strawberry nachos. The strawberry nachos. The strawberry nachos. All right, so we've been hearing all about this all day long, the strawberry nachos. And it's not quite what you're expecting. It's no cheese or anything. It's actually a dessert. And um, I'm so excited to try them that I actually got two. Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss this year's 71st annual Poteet Strawberry Festival going on April 13th through the 15th or visit the link below for more details.